This tutorial will cover the Beta AI Texture Generator. You can enter keywords to generate a seamless texture with a chosen fabric texture. The results can be previewed in real time as the generated image is applied to the 3D garment. Select a fabric style to run the Beta AI Texture Generator on. In the Fabric Properties window, next to the Basic Parameters button, click the AI Texture Generator Beta button. At the top of the dialog box, you can set some options to enter keywords for the text prompt to generate a texture that closely matches the style of the texture that you want. Beneath the text prompt, you will see the generated images populate. The History tab allows you to view the images that you have previously generated. The generated history is temporarily retained in the instance that it is generated and will be deleted when you close Marvelous Designer. At the top of the generated images, you can see the value options and prompts that you selected when generating this image. Let's take a closer look at the options available in the AI Texture Generator. The fabric type sets the type of fabric material. The images will be generated onto the texture of that selected fabric. This value must be selected to activate the Generate button. The content type selects the type of content. Once this type is selected, the details will then appear. Once the desired details are selected, the image generated from the prompt will reflect the type. If the pattern being generated is a repeated pattern, select the content type to print. If you want to generate images with just the fabric type and your prompts, without selecting a specific style, choose content type as none. The generated images will be seamless. You can set the pattern size to adjust the size of the repeated image in four steps. The size of the fabric type's texture that was set at the top is not affected by the pattern size option. Pattern size one will generate a randomized size closest to 1024 pixels. If you set pattern size to four, the size will be randomized to something close to 4096 pixels. Therefore, applying a texture generated with a pattern size of one to an outfit will result in a small repeating pattern while applying an image generated with a pattern size of 4 will result in a large repeating pattern. Let's use the tool and type in some prompts to create a textured image. Here we will select Poplin, Art, and Vintage, and then type in a prompt. When entering the text prompt, be sure to type in English to get a more accurately generated image. When entering text prompts, it is recommended that you list out your words rather than using descriptive sentences. Longer sentences tend to distort the images, so a good idea is to use commas to separate the words. When you finish entering the prompt for a desired texture, click the Generate button to generate the image. Once the previews are generated, click the Apply button at the bottom of the window to apply it to the scene. If you want to emphasize a particular word, use parentheses around that word that you want to emphasize. The parentheses give more weight to these words in the prompt, so the more parentheses, the heavier it will be weighted. The weight value is as follows, 1.1 times if you use one parentheses and 1.2 times if you use two. For example, the more we emphasize the word green, the more green areas there are that are generated in the image. As you can see in the history, the emphasis of the words results in a different image generated. You can click on a previously created image in the history to apply it to your garments. If 
you want to get an idea of the keywords to type into prompts, or if you just need some help, click the randomize button that looks like a six-sided die. This will randomize the content type and text prompt while keeping the fabric type and pattern size that you set in the options previously. This is a fun way to generate and experiment with different image options using the desired fabric texture. The beta AI texture generator will show different results each time used, even if you enter the same prompts, in order to generate as many new and different images as possible. If you want to generate a different result with as much of the pre-existing result as possible, or to update the prompt, you can click on the pin icon. You can also create a new image by referencing a pre-existing generated image from your history. Click the pin icon, then select the desired image from the history. Then click the Generate button to generate an image similar to the selected image. Please note that if you modify the prompts, the results may differ from the previous results depending on what is added and changed. Images can take some time to generate. You can choose to close the Beta AI Texture Generator window by pressing the arrow buttons at the top of the window. This allows you to keep working on your garments while the image is being generated. When the generation is complete, the collapsed window will indicate that it is finished. To enlarge the window once more, press that same top arrow again. With this tool, you can now create your own custom prints or textures.